Yo, what is happening guys? And a very warm welcome back to the Verde Roman Career Mode series and exciting times are nigh. Let's have a look, see here, the DFB Pokal. We made it to the semi-final, boys. I love to see it. And, you know, what else do we have coming up in this episode? Let's take a, a cheeky little look. We have the semi-finals, of course, probably the priority of this episode, but also... Do not forget that in the Bundesliga, we are fighting for your Europa League place. And if things go crazy, we could even win a Champions League spot. That would be mind-blowing if that could happen. But we have some difficult matches to come, especially against Mönchengladbach and Wolfsburg. Before we even start against this match, I have a huge piece of news for you guys. And it is that this week, we are going to be starting a brand new career mode over in the Premier League so keep your eyes sharpened for that one um, but do let me know down in the comments I'm quite happy to carry on doing the Bremen career mode maybe doing two episodes a week one from the Bremen career mode and one from the Premier League career mode let me know or if not we can just do two from the Premier League career mode but I think it's quite an exciting time in this Bremen career mode if we take a look at the Bundesliga table um, if it will just load. Um, look at this. We have an extremely good chance of getting into those European places. And if we do, man, oh man, it would be such a shame to cut it short. But it's it's your guys' decision. I'm not trying to influence you at all. Let me know down in the comments. And without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? Actually, while I remember, we... Uh, had a look at old Josh Sargent. We could sell him. Oh, I mean, his potential is only about 82. I know dynamic potential, he could get a lot more. I know Bremen have been relegated, so they're considering selling him quite seriously. I'm, oh, I just think to freshen things up a bit, we could sell him for like 44 million. 44 million smackers, mate. How amazing would that be we could buy such an amazing replacement just freshen things up it's always nice to do <clears throat> in a career mode so maybe what i'm going to do is go in and negotiate this and if i can't get over 35 million i am n or even off oh, they've offered 32 if i can't get over 35 million it's it's a no-go let's go do some negotiation we're gonna oh player swap what juicy strikers do they have that we could, uh, you know, indulge ourselves with? No one really. Wingers? Ooh, Bogo would be nice, wouldn't he? Anyway, no, 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 no. We're, we're not going to get sidetracked here. We're going to propose a new transfer fee of 41 million euros. Come on, Sunny Jim. That is... That's real pricing nowadays. I mean, I heard... Arsenal are going to buy Ben White for £50 million. Pounds. I'm sorry. Ben White is a great talent, but he's got one year of Premier League experience and they're going to pay £50 million. Pounds. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. £50 million, like five years ago would have bought you one of the best defenders in the world. Um, we're going to counter that offer. Proposed new transfer fee. We'll come down to £38 million if you want to... You know, oblige us. Oh, they're being really... What's the word? Skimpy, is it? Really cheap. 36 million. I'm not sure I want to go much lower than this, to be honest. If they reject it, then it just wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. No worries. I'm sure we'll get many, many more offers for Sergeant coming up in the next transfer window. So no worries. No worries. So, in terms of team news, how are we going to play this now? Our team looks pretty fit, apart from our man Gravenberg. Now, the questione is, oh, do we have the guts to sub him for, for another player? We're going to just bring Quagliarella out and put Mina on the bench. Because we don't need that many strikers. Schmidt, maybe we could start him. Or I, I think I did get an email from him just now saying he wanted to. Imagine Schmidt. Schmidt comes in and he does bits in the cup. What a storyline that could be. So we're going to do that. Gravenberg will most definitely come on at some point in the game. But we want him, you know, fit and firing. We don't want him 
tiring out after the first half. So, come on, let's go. Ooh, come on, come on. This is oh, by far the biggest game of the season, probably the biggest game of this entire career mode so far. The real question is, can we just hold our nerve? Can we just scrape our way through to our first major final as manager at Werder? That would be, oh mate, that would be unbelievable. But Hoffenheim are going to be no slouches. They are not going to be an easy opponent. We are going to have to play a fine game here to, you know, get our asses through to that final. Oh, uh, I was waiting for Agu to make a run in behind there. He chose not to. We'll get it to Rashid instead. He'll take the shots. Oh, and Bauman gets a nice save in there, low to his left hand side. Very solid. But we have shown. Our, our, our grit with getting the first shot on target of the game. That's what I love to see. I love to see it. But Pasalic, look at all this space here out here for him. Oh, Nianzu's having to do the work of a fullback here. And Koch was calling offside there, luckily. Um, he ended up getting the interception anyway. And now Hoffenheim back on the ball in their, you know, solid blue kits. I absolutely love it. I love kits which are all one colour. I don't know what it is. It just looks nice and clean. I guess. De Jong. Oh, big boy. He's charging through the midfield. Oh, but he just gives it to Bitten Call. It's like a gift. Get this into. Oh, Sergeant. He's just going to charge through the middle, is he? Oh, catch him if you can. Take the shot, Boyd. Oh, that was oh, anywhere else. Straight at the keeper. I was aiming far corner. Maybe it was because of his weak, weak shot. Well, uh, maybe it was because of his weak foot. But, oh, man, we're not going to get... Oh, we're going to have to work hard anyway to get a better chance than that. Oh, man. That is frustrating. Oh, but we get the ball back. Get it into. Oh, Eggestein, get there. Get there. Oh, Brené. Brené even gets the ball. Fair play, fair play. We definitely you know, on top in this game, we just got to make that domination count. Because, you know, missing chances like that can lose you games. They can be pivotal moments. Um, because, oh, Hoffenheim definitely going to have a chance at some point. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, well, we've got to keep our heads up, boys. We've got to keep our heads up. Come on, it's only one goal. We can score more than one goal in a game. We can absolutely do this. Don't panic. Don't panic. Look at the manager. He's not happy. He's not happy and yeah, he shouldn't be. That was an atrocious way to go behind in a semi-final. And that is devastating. But there's still 60 minutes left in this game. Over two thirds to go. We just got to maintain our positivity. Once again, our midfield looks quite weak in this game. Maybe that's a punishment for taking Gravenberg out, but there just seems to be a huge hole in midfield, which Hoffenheim are exploiting brilliantly. We can't let them score again. That will be highly damaging. Velkovic luckily gets a tackle in. Oh no, straight back to them. Oh no, what's going on? Okay, now, now we just gotta go, go score three goals. Pips, Pips, easy squeezy, lemon peas, oh, that's how annoyed I am, I can't even say the words right. And you know what's got to happen, Gravenberg has got to get onto this pitch, for sure, these wing backs need to get higher, they need to get up the pitch, they need to get attacking, we're going to take Augustinson off, and we're going to bring Chong on, this is his time to shine in a Verde shirt, he has yet to do so this season. I'm hoping that he can do so now. We're, we're rolling the dice heavily at the moment. And, oh, you know what? We're going to bring on Mena for uh, Bissancourt. And, oh, I think we have one change left, don't we? And we'll just have to see. Oh, we get it into Sergeant. Oh, Rashica, run through the middle. Take the shot. Take the shot. Oh, another brilliant save by Bauman. But a great little burst of pace there from Rashica. He charges into the box. Let's the shot off with his weaker left foot. And the goalkeeper has to make a diving save. We've got to make the most of this corner now. Come on. Just, okay, cross it in there. Oh, get your head on this. Koch. Oh, Keletakar gets his foot on the ball. Oh, we get it in towards Koch again. And Keletakar is there again. 
Oh man, he has saved his team's bacon there because Koch twice was looking deadly. Oh, I'm sorry guys, this is looking bleak, this is looking bleak. Oh, my defenders, they're just nowhere to be seen. Oh, thank you, Velkovic, but he can't even win the tackle. And, oh, he gets it out. Half and I are playing so well, I don't know what to do, literally. De Jong now gets it out to Hugma. Oh, Velkovic, please. Oh, Vel I pressed pass. Why would you just palm it out of the field, man? Come on, come on. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Rashica, get this through to Chong. He'll take it out wide. We don't mind that. Oh, he'll come back in field, rather. Oh, you got to score. you got to score, Eggestein. Come on, pick that ball up. Take it back to... No, pick it. Pick the ball up, you... Come on, we're not going to waste our time with replays. We're in the zone now. Oh, we've got to get this goal. We've got to get this goal. The second goal. We've got to take this game to extra time. Or penalties, whatever they do. Oh, Nianzu. Bullet header. Come on, Hoffenheimer under pressure. We have got to exploit that. Oh. Oh, through to Chong. Cross it in. Cross it in. Oh, towards Mina. Oh, Hugo gets there first. What a vital header in there for his team. We are banging on the pressure now. Come on. This is make or break. I can't even watch. This is... Oh, this is so huge. Come on. Rashica crosses it in. Towards Velkovic. <laughs> oh, Velkovic, mate. What was that? You got a free header. And you blast it over the bar. Come on, come on. We've still got maybe three minutes without a time. Come on, you got to push. you got to press. you got to press. Press the goalkeeper. Come on, lads. Kaleta Kai, you got to press him. you got to press. Get the ball back for us. Oh, oh, but he gets the tackle in, but it rebounds straight to the Offenheim player. Sometimes when it's not going for you... It, oh, once again. Sometimes when it's not going for you, it's just not going for you, and it's over. It's over. Oh, to be fair, I'm proud of the fight that the boys showed in that second half. It was not easy, but for sure we looked like we were going to get that equaliser. Unfortunately, it, it was not meant to be this year. But maybe there'll be more years where we can go for silverware. But we've done really well to get to the semi-final, to be fair. Just a real moment of reflection. Now we've got to uh, focus on the league, getting those European places. So it's going to be Hoffenheim and Bayern in the final. Wow. That should be a good game. I'd expect Bayern to win, though. So, guys, we've had a few minutes to cool off from that oh, agonising defeat. Oh, but um, look at this. What is it? Four games to go? And it's all up for grabs. We could get Champions League. We could get Europa League. We could get blow all. So, oh, man. This is a crucial part of the season. And we're up against Bielefeld, a team who we should really be getting the points against but let's take a look at the calendar when is our next game after this it's in a week anyway we can afford to play a pretty strong team not gonna not gonna lie look at our team mostly everyone is fit to go we'll just make a couple changes just to keep everyone fit and well we'll bring in Simakan for Velkovic um who else could we give a go to um Maybe we'll give Schmidt another go. He didn't play badly in that last game. He didn't didn't play well either. Everyone else, to be fair, is in good working order. We should be getting the points here. So we're just going to go for a quick sim at home. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A narrow win. That's exactly what we needed. Just to show our defensive grit as well. Oh, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Another three points. I'm dying to see how the other teams have done, to be honest. Have we oh, got a bit of an advantage now? Oh, 53 now. I think we, we we had a one point cushion last time. Now we have a three point cushion with three matches to go. But we have a couple big matches coming up. We have a progress assessment as well. Um, expanding our brand was an important target. Oh, whatever. And guys, time... For probably the biggest match remaining in our season. And it's against Mönchengladbach away. 
and for sure we have to play our strongest team. I don't see many other options, to be honest. Um, a s Gladbach, mentioned Gladbach, are one of the best teams in the Bundesliga. They're probably better at, than us at this point in time, overall-wise, so we're going to need our strongest team to defeat them. Oh man, this is so big. I don't even know if I can handle the pressure. Bitten Core is going to send it up the pitch. Oh, we get it into Eggestein. Oh, we get out to Sergeant. This quick passing is nice. Sergeant's just going to wait for the run of Agu. Send it long to Agu. And just dip it over towards Sergeant. Oh, Rashid saving. I thought the Sergeant. Oh, we get a shot on target once again. Good start to the game. Are we going to make it count this time, though? They are pressing us for sure. But Koch, look at that ball over the top for Agu. Oh, into Sergeant. Who's going to find Agu again? Oh, gets it wide. Dink it in towards... Oh, Bittencourt again. Almost identical to the last shot by Rashica. Grumberg, come on. Oh, don't let them score. Zakaria's gone really wide here. Oh, we've got to defend. We've got to defend with our lives. Oh, they take it wide and it's offside. Boy, were we lucky there. Into Gravenberg. Oh, not offside. Not offside. Into... Oh, Bittencourt. Bittencourt! Yes! Come on, lads. We take the lead in this crucial game. Crucial game. Oh, man. That, that's been coming as well. Third proper chance and Bittencourt has buried that. What a story for the young man. He's come back from half a season, barely even getting into the team. Now he's one of the solid players within this team. You wouldn't even dare swap him out. He's played so well. Oh man, love to see it, love to see it. We've got to maintain that pressure that now though, because uh, they're munching Gladbach. If we give them even a sniff of a chance, they're going to come back and punish us. They pass into... Oh. Okay, wasn't expecting that. But Agu will just run away. He'll take the pressure away. I love to see... Oh, he just keeps going. Try catch him if you can. Look at this pace. Look at this pace from one end of the field to another. Oh, too easy. Too easy. Agu, you absolute beast. He has run from our goal all the way down the pitch. And then, to everyone's disgrace, he has just sweated the goalkeeper like no one's business. Oh man, such a sweaty, sweaty goal. Oh my day, Zomer, you should be ashamed of yourself, mate. How have you allowed that to happen? How have you allowed that to happen? It's such a... Oh. If that goal was scored against me, um, my, my screen would be shattered right now. Oh, Sergeant intercepts once again. Straight off the kickoff. Oh, we've got Munch and Glad back on the ropes here. Get it. Oh, oh, oh. Get it over the top. Oh, we'll get it to Eggestein. Oh, should be 3 0. Should be 3 0. What is going on? Oh, man. Oh, Eggestein. He has a good shooting boot as well. I had money on him sticking that in the back of the net. Ball. Rashid's on the ball. Oh, he comes inside. Take the finesse. Oh, how beautiful would that have been? The fake shot made that defender look like an absolute dummy. Zakanyi? Zakanyi? Yeah, he's on the ball. Turam. Oh, no. Stindl. Stindl. Oh, Stindl again. Stindl again. Turam sticks it in the back of the net. Too easy. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think that's probably my fault. Gravenberg would have got a tackle in there, but Schmidt was nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. He left the defence to fend for themselves. Look at this. Look at Schmidt. He's way back from the play. What does he think he's doing? Good finish from Turan, to be fair. And um, is that Velkovic there? He did everything to try and stop him. Oh, so close to getting the block in, but not quite. Come on. Come on, lads. We've got to concentrate. We cannot afford a draw. We need the W here. Where are all the midfielders? They just don't want to come back. Oh, man. No. Oh, that's such a dodgy goal to concede. You're taking the mick. You are taking the flipping mick. No way. No flipping way has that just gone in. 
Like, what can I do? I'm defending here with my life. Schmidt's actually doing a good job. And Turam, is it again? No, it's not Turam. Zachariah, is it? He gets in there. I'm pretty sure on his near post, both times, Pavlenka should be saving both of them. I've got no choice now. I've got to change things. Biss and Court, I'm afraid, you're coming off the pitch. Sergeant as well. We're going to have to change our tactics once again. Um, pressure on heavy touch is fine. Depth. And we're going to have to go for our fast build-up again. Oh, we're getting it through to oh, Augustinson. Oh, you got to score, Rashid, sir. you got to score! Yes! It's gone in! Through the near post. Take that, Mönchengladbach, in the 89th minute. Oh, man. We've given them a bitter taste of their own medicine. I'm sorry, mate. You got two near post goals. It was our turn now. Our star man saves us from what could have been a disastrous result in the context of those European places. We blast it into the back of the net. Oh, man. I can't deal with this pressure. Oh, luckily. Oh, surely they don't have enough time left to score. Two. We've got one minute to survive. That's all. One minute. They pass it backwards. That's even better. You'd think they'd want to blast it forwards, wouldn't you? Oh, it's, it's time, ref. It's time, ref. It's time. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I don't think you guys realise how relieved I am right now. It's unbelievable the amount of relief that I am feeling. Oof, man. Oof. Oh, that, that win over Gladback was so important. Look at that. We're now six points away from them. We just need one point to guarantee a European spot. And at the moment, we're flying high in the Champions League positions. Man, oh man. How amazing would that be? How amazing would that be? Wolfsburg, that's going to be another pivotal match, which is the very next match coming up. Guys, it's the big one. We need a point from this game against Wolfsburg to qualify for the Europa League next season. And even better... If we get a win, we could qualify for the Champions League. I'm not even sure how that's possible, but we could do it. We are back at the Vezza Stadion once again. I know I said last match was the most important of our season. For sure, this match is. This match is. And look at all the fans there holding up their little banners in the colours of the white and green army. Oh man, this is such a big match. Robin, Robin, we're going to need you. We need a clean sheet for sure. If we get a clean sheet, we're through. We, we've we achieved the objective. He boots it long. All right. Win this, Belkovic. Thank you. Oh, Eggestein. Oh, 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 yes. Rashid Sestitzel in the back of the net once again. Oh, is this going to be it? Is this going to be it? Oh, man. What a superb goal. Little header into the feet of Sargent, who does a reverse sort of through ball. Rashica just pounds it into the back of the net. To be honest, their goalkeeper, I, was, I thought he should have come out a bit faster. Because he surely would have got the ball. He sort of held off a bit. And it is good to see the two, two at the back there. Chong and Xerxes enjoyed that goal for sure. Rashica with 12 goals in the, Premier, in the uh, Premier League, in the Bundesliga by far. Our top scorer this season. Oh, Mbabu again. Mbabu. He is playing mind games with us down this left-hand side. And uh, Bittencourt gets the tackle in. Love to see it. Oh, oh, Bittencourt nearly gets the interception in. But Zeva on the ball now. Oh, he has stitched Mbabu up there. Gives us the throw, which is what we like to see. Oh, oh, Augustinson. Run away. Get up, son. Get up. Good tackle there from Mbabu, to be fair. He is a very good player. Would consider signing him if we didn't have Agu, our solid man. Oh, speaking of the devil, he wins us the ball. We get it through to... Oh, Rashica gets it back to Sergeant. Oh, Bittencourt makes it 2-0. Too easy. Too easy. It's almost like um, Wolfsburg have just gone so attacking that... We won the ball there, high up the pitch. There was basically no one there. I think it was four against three. 
it was just bound to happen. Okay, three against three, basically. And Bittencourt keeps his firing run going. Sticks that in the back of the net with ease, mate. With absolute ease. Oh, Gravenberg wins it back for us high up the pitch. Oh, Bittencourt. Oh, he's taking it long. Look at all this space. Surely he's not going to score again. Oh, good save by Castiles, to be fair. Oh, I got a bit of greedy there. Oh, maybe I should have sweated it. Should have sweated it. Should have, could have, would have. It doesn't matter. We have got the corner here. I think we're going to target someone at the near post. Oh, Sergeant. Oh, it was a bit over his head. Zave there now. He's trying to send it out wide to Nathan Redmond. Over the top, but Gravenberg for sure is there. He gifts it straight back to Wolfsburg, though, who are attacking through the middle. We don't want a replay of that performance against Mönchengladbach. It's nearly half-time. Nearly half-time. Warning. We could actually win this match. Oh, man. Woo. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. You know what? Oh, we're going to risk it. This episode's gone on for a long time already. We're going to jump to Sim. We're going to watch the rest of this match from the sidelines and just hope the team can bring it home. The real question is, is Europa League football going to come home to Werder this season? Oh, if it did. How amazing would that be? Rashica now. Oh, we whip it over the top to Agu. Oh, look at all this space into Sargent who makes it 3-0. Oh man, I bow down in awe. Josh Sargent gets his 11th goal of a fantastic breakthrough season for him. Oh man, we've absolutely dominated that game. They they haven't even had one single chance. That's oh, that's what I love to see. And for sure, we have qualified for the Europa League. Oh, oh I'm feeling so good right now. I don't think you even understand. How amazing this feels. This is just such such a good feeling. And have we also qualified for Champions League? Because if we have, that is unbelievable. No way our oh, Wolfsburg could still get there. They could still get there. But look at our goal difference. Oh, they need to win by oh, two goals. They need to win by two goals and they could supersede us. This is nerve-wracking. This is nerve-wracking. It's all going to come down to the final day of the season. Oh, interesting. We've had a transfer offer for our man Schmidt, but I'm not sure we want to... Oh, Nicolas Schmidt. No, it's, it's not the Schmidt I was thinking of. Um, For sure, we'll accept this offer from Ang Angers FC. And this is what it's all coming down to. We're at the final press conference. Are you looking good for a, for a Champions League spot? Um, the boys won't need a team talk. They don't need a team talk. They know how proud I am of them. Whatever happens today, I am proud of the team. Um, we've got to respect the other team, always. You can never underestimate, even if you're playing Crawley Town FC, mate. Never underestimate them. You've got to go in there as if it's the game of your lives and go and get us the points. It's pretty simple. Um, where will the goals come from? I just want a good performance, for sure. The morale is maximized. Surely that's gonna give us the best opportunity. And what I haven't told you guys yet is our season is gonna come down to a quick sim. Because this episode has gone on for an unbelievable length of time, we're going to have to do a quick sim. We're going to put our strongest team up there to get us the win. But, oh man, look at this team. Look how far they've come. Um, the only change we're actually going to make is we're going to bring Nianzu out for uh, Simakan. There we go. Other than that, look at this team. Eggestein, so good. Gravenberg, so good. Bittencourt, unbelievably good second half of the season. Rashica, solid as always. Sargent. Such an improvement from 71 overall at the beginning of our first season. Agu again. Something ridiculous, like 68 or something when we started. Now up to 75. 79, he's operating with that plus four. Just unbelievable. Velkovic, Koch, Simakan, Nianzu. All amazing players. Augustinsson has been solid by far. And uh, Pavlenka, for sure. What a superstar. 
what a superstar team we have in our midst and it's all going to come down to a quick sim if we make Champions League or not. Oh, we got the point. That that means we got Champions League. Oh, did it? Did it? Oh, man. Don't make me watch this. Oh, we've made Champions League. For sure. For sure. No way. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, I'm speechless. We were fighting relegation for the first 10 games of the season. And now we've made Champions League football. It's actually unbelievable. And and look at that. We've really scraped it as well. If you look at our goal difference, you know, oh, we've oh, 17 wins, 9 draws, 8 losses. It's a very solid season. I can guarantee you most of those 8 losses came in the first 10 games. So we have done an absolutely outstanding job to make fourth place in the Bundesliga, secure our place in next year's Champions League, man. Next year's Champions League is actually unbelievable to me. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Um, man. Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of the team. Let's go see how much money we're going to win for that outstanding performance. 84 million. Oh, that is transformation money. Absolute transformation. This is what takes us from a mid to lower level Bundesliga team up there to, you know, Champions League competing title winning team in a couple of seasons, potentially. It's just, oh, so amazing. So amazing. And I hope this is good for you Werder fans out there who I know are very passionate about the series because... You know, I know we got relegated this season. It was very sad, very frustrating, very heartbreaking. But in a way, you know, we can afford to dream a little bit because here in the Werder Bremen career mode series, we are going to experience Champions League football next season for sure without a singular doubt. And... Oh, first episode next season. Some big transfer business is going to get done. That's all I'm going to be saying. That's all I'm going to be saying. But anyway, guys, I'm just going to, you know, sim through the rest of these days into the next season where I will see you at the start of the uh, very next episode.